Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to do a general love, no, just a general reading, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should do a general love reading with you guys since I said that. Anyway, this will be for Leo. <laughs> We're just going to look at a situation Spirit wants you to know about. We'll look at the challenge that you're faced with and then we'll pull some advice. So keep in mind the readings are general. They are for the collective, so if anything here doesn't resonate, just discard it and leave it for the Leo who needs to hear it. And of course, remember that there is no gender in Tarot. If I pull a queen, I could totally be talking about a guy. It's all about the personality traits. If you are interested in love readings, you can catch those on my second channel as well. I do do them here, but I do them more often on that channel. It's linked in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments, as well as all the information to contact me for a private personal reading, talk therapy session, or, you know, I answer questions. Um, so yeah, check out my other page. If you're interested, you can become a member. I do members only readings and of course all of the extended readings are available there for every zodiac along with uh, mental health workshops and things like that. So if you're interested in that, just hit the join button. And if you go to the featured channels on my page, there are a couple of friends there listed. Make sure to check them out as well. I think that's everything. So let's get into this. Tell me about the situation that we don't need to know about, please. Leo. So we have hold your vision and have faith in your dreams. The overall energy here is the Page of Swords. You have the Ten of Cups. The Tower. The Hermit. I'm going to put these down here as the challenge cards. So we'll look at those in a minute. So I feel like right now you're getting some type of news that's making you really happy, but you're shocked. It's like you really didn't see it coming, but now it's like you, like the way is lit, you know, the, the hermit, you know, that's some good energy there. So this tower is not really bad. It's more about just the how fast everything is happening because I feel like the tower is more of like a um, a rebuild here I feel like the crumble already happened right tell me about the uh, tower please I feel like for you, this is like some type of news. For some of you, it's legal news. You know, this is a page of swords. But whatever the situation was in total, it's like you learned a lot here. Like you're at the pinnacle of your wisdom now. And, you know, of course, he's got the star on his lantern. So it's like. There's hope coming in via this communication. Clarifying the tower that we have the nine of wands. I have the whole deck upside down. The eight of cups. And the devil. I 
For some of you, this is breaking a bond that tied you, but not a, not a fun one. Again, for a lot of you, this could be like legal. For some of you, you're like ending a marriage here. For some of you, it's like cutting familial ties. They're toxic, they like hinder your growth, they're very triggering. It's time to break free from this energy. Maybe once you thought you'd never be able to break free. And now you're actually seeing this unfold in front of you. Tell me about the hermit. I feel like for a lot of you, this is like a, a legal breaking of the chain. Yeah, the two of wands. The fool. The moon. I feel like despite the fact that you were battling whatever this devil energy was this whole time, it's like you really kept faith with the hermit. It's like you really stayed with source and you had faith that that you would get out of this. I feel like somebody here kind of like clawed their way out of hell. But they learned a lot along the way, you know, and now it's like you can probably feel something big shifting and happening for you here. It's like something, it's almost like a miracle taking place for you here and something where you thought you would never, even if you got out, see things your way, like things go in, in your favor. So I feel like it's a little bit, Scoop these up and uh, look at these challenge cards. We have the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, the challenge is putting up a fight. That's what the challenge has been. Would you fight for yourself? Because, you know, maybe in the past, it's like you kind of stayed in whatever this was for a long time out of familiarity, like comfort, you know? And at some point, I think you kind of just gave up. But that's not, you know, like the, the energy really has to be more... you know, self-protective. I feel like your main, for those of you where this is like a divorce, because that's very much an energy here, um, it's like protecting the assets or protecting the children in this new journey. You're like, there's like some type of like programming that you have, I would almost say, where you feel like the seven of wands like I just want to make sure how I'm feeling about it is right the page of pentacles king of swords knight of swords
you know, for some of you, like, you really are protecting kids. It's, it's really about that. Um, for some of you, it's like, finally, it's like the challenge here is actually doing something to protect yourself or believing that you can, I, or, I don't know, for some of you, believing that you can outsmart a person. So I feel like there's a way here for you to move forward, but there's also some almost like defensiveness because it changes everything. End of the day, these tens are still tens and the tower is here. It's like everything, it's like a huge change. So it's like something that you want so bad, but I feel like it's a ripple effect. It's not just about you, that it like kind of affects everyone or it affects you on many levels. You know, like this could affect you emotionally, financially, mentally, you know? Um, or maybe you're just too defensive. It's like you're you're not happy. It's like you you have faith that you know, something will work out to where you'll be broken free of this, but I don't think that you have full faith that things are going to just go in your favor. And it's like, maybe... You're triggered. I, don't, I feel like, you know, with the Seven of Wands and the, the sword energies, it's almost like... Um, You need to just think about your own stability. I feel like you're just too selfless. Let's say, for instance, like you find something out about a family member and for you it crosses a major boundary and you're really shocked by it, but now it's like you've learned the truth about this person. And the challenge here is actually, you know, protecting yourself despite the fact that they're family and, and that you're supposed to be stable in that unit, it's um, thinking logically instead of emotionally and taking the actions necessary after thinking logically. You know, the King of Swords, he's not going to make a wrong decision. He's very strategic. So... <clears throat> but he also does... He is self-protective and has boundaries, and I feel like... There's a part of you maybe that wishes things weren't like this, but only for the sake of other people. It's not about you. There's a selflessness to it that's actually just like complacency, if that makes sense. I got the Ace of Pentacles here. The Fool. The Ten of Wands. The High Priestess. another 10. I feel like the only thing missing here is the optimism, but again, with this wand energy, I mean, this is a 10, so it is kind of like knowing that eventually things will get better, but um, I feel like there's this subconscious energy where there's like a hidden fear behind actually moving forward from whatever. It's like all of you wants to get the hell out of there, but also all of you doesn't. Well, you want what's best for everybody in the situation. I'm not sure that's the type of energy that's, that you're dealing with if you have to be in the Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands energy, King of Swords energy. Um, but 
but I feel like Maybe sometimes it's like you're defensive and you feel like you're doing the wrong thing, but don't because I mean, literally here, there's something where it's like you have this greater vision in life for yourself. It's like there is something that you really want. It's a dream, but I feel like it does require you actually letting go and moving forward from this. It's like you have taken a bunch of wisdom from this. And I feel like with the high priestess, and you're much more intuitive now. You you know things are gonna get better. Whatever this whatever this is, it like instantly sparks the optimism that you haven't had. But it's like um, even though you find that this news is like things going in your favor because you know I feel like you you had to move a certain type of way to get to where you're going here. You know, with the King of Swords, like a lot of plotting and strategy and and moving a certain type of way. And with the, the hermit and the high priestess, maybe a lot of secrecy. You, maybe you couldn't tell anybody your next move, you know? But now that it's actually here, I feel like it's very shocking. Because it's almost like you thought it would never come. And so now that you have your life. So this is it. But a part of you is a little bit triggered by that. It's like... um. like that because change is really fucking uncomfortable but necessary give me some advice and we are for this trip for a video in this situation the nine of pentacles the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. Judgment at the bottom. I feel like at some point in time, the biggest concern, one of the biggest concerns for you is about having your independence, like your financial freedom. And we had the devil earlier. It's like, this is your opportunity to do it, to break free of the circumstance, to get your life back, to get your fire back, to, to get your passion back, to get back to Leo. Which I don't, I feel like you've been sitting somewhere, somewhere complacent and very selfless for a long time. And the advice is very much not to do that. priestess we're coming out together again advice for me I feel like whatever this is it gives you your life back and that's a little bit scary because you know It's all brand new. A time to give rather than take, and nothing is yet set in stone. Humility. Flowers are unaware of each other's beauty. They bloom regardless. So I feel like there's a bigger lesson to this all too, too, where it's like your faith has been tested a lot. And now you're starting to kind of look into the fact that actually nothing has ever set in stone, that you can take necessary actions to change anything, that, that you can be the catalyst to any change that you want, you know? And I feel like you, you have this sense of humility where you constantly want to you know, again, be selfless, give to others, but 
I think right now it's time for you to give to, to the self. That's what you're focused on. You know, it's like, I need to get my career back together. I need to get my passion back in life. I need my confidence back, you know? And I feel like at some point in time, maybe you had decided that like, either you were doing what was good for you or you were doing what was for the greater good of everybody. But like, maybe now you're starting to sort of integrate the idea that you can have all of that together, right? Um, but the, I mean, if life is very uncomfortable right now because these are these huge changes coming, just understand that the changes are magnificent, you know? Um, you, you get your life back here. For some of you, it's like you've been pretty like trapped in a situation for a long time. It's like traumatizing. Um, and that's actually over. So it's, especially for those of you that, you know, if this was like a long-term kind of like traumatic, uh, marriage or relationship, it's like, um, if you leave like an abusive relationship, that is so additionally traumatizing, <laughs> you know, so it's not like something simple to do, but way later you just glow up. And you get your, your shit back together, you know? Except you're better than ever before. And this is like the beginning stages of that, so don't be scared. Okay, that's what I have for you guys, and I'll see you soon.